cycle here on the uh, 3x3 tent. We got a Primal Punch 1 going on in here and this is on day 65. Uh, I'm about to harvest it so here's the final shots of the Nug Me. <laughs> Color and the the frostiness is really nice on this but it isn't my typical Primal Punch 1 run. I did have this pot sort of run out of phosphorus in the middle of flower, which was a problem we were having throughout the grow room. We have been using BioFoss now to unlock the phosphorus within the soil and also using an instant compost tea from a company called Mighty Plant that has been having a positive benefit um, on repairing, I guess, the soil in the in the pots that, that we have uh, set. So this one didn't really get the best bud formation um, and isn't as terpy as usual, but still a lot of uh, resin on it. Pretty good harvest. I, uh, I got like one and a quarter big jars of bud off of it and the next two plants popped in there, wedding cake and a primal bunch too. The uh, tiny tent here, we got the two by two and a half. You know, I was having the thrip problems in here. I was waiting for the Ambulusus cucumeris predator mites. They finally showed up two weeks later and made a huge mess in my tent. Uh, <laughs> distributing that stuff, I was able to get quite a bit of it off. You can see here with just spraying the plants down with water. But as I zoom in closer, you'll be able to see that there's definitely some of that like substrate that they got shipped in stuck in my buds, which made me pretty much not very happy. But I haven't seen any more thrips at all in the tent since those were distributed. And I also put them out in my veg room. So whatever thrips were left have been completely obliterated by the Ambulisus cucumeris. So they were very effective, somewhat expensive, but definitely messy to use if you're already in flower. And it's a good thing we'll be washing this run for rosin because now there's not really much other choice. It's going to have to become hash. Um, but yeah, the buds are finishing forming up. They really are making a comeback. It's, it's uh, frosty. It smells good. As you can see, it burst out a bunch more white hairs. It just keeps... Um, getting a little bit more bulky. Uh, this was day 57 here and um, yeah so we have I'm, I'm probably gonna let this one go to approximately day 70 maybe even just a little longer because she had such a stunt. Quick note on watering with the uh, no-till bed. Down deep in the bed it might say it's 10 but up top it's saying 2. It's time to add water. Moving on to the max stomper in the 2x4 tent. This is day 52 for the Max Stomper and I'm not really enjoying the terps too much in this uh, particular tent right now. I don't think this one is going to be a keeper for us, um, especially after she showed so much stress uh, this time. I still am not entirely sure what caused this to get so freaked out, but yeah, they just really got... Um, curly and and um, fluffy like the buds got a little bit bigger than the other buds but they're not dense like they should be in these few branches that got stressed out in the middle um, yeah I'm still not entirely sure it could be possibly some some light stress so the next run in this tent I am going to try running the light a little bit lower on intensity uh, my biggest bitch with this tent right now is my right hand side of the scrog is uh, not as full as my left hand side of the scrog so I probably could have maximized you know just a little bit more yield out of this tent but um, if we look underneath you'll see very easily why because I have quite a few more branches headed off to the left hand side when I place it in here really only two branches going off to the right so kind of to be expected. I love to end it out by looking at 
the soil life. Man, there is some cool stuff under there. We throw some families in to feed the soil life and you can see that not only do the roly polies and the earthworms eat them, they get eaten by fungus and there's all kinds of other cool life going on in there. This one just reminded me so much of like trichomes being imitated by fungus. It was really neat looking, um, so that really caught my eye. Pretty cool. And um, you'll notice in the video coming up here that we have just a ton of like little guys running around. They're just enjoying this leaf and eating it too. There is so much going on under the soil if you uh, take a moment and just look very, very closely. Thanks again for hanging out with me for another update. I know that November is over and this is only actually covering the first two weeks of November. I had kind of a rough month with fibro flares and such, but I'm getting back on the game. So very soon here, I will be putting out the video for the second half of November. So keep an eye out for that in just a few days here. As always, big love and respect to all of you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to my sponsors. Without them, I wouldn't be able to do what I do. So I appreciate you so much. Big love and respect from me, the Dizzy Grower. We'll see you next time.